stuff, two local high school robotics teams got the chance to compete on the world stage, but they wouldn't have made it so far without each other. KGW producer Reese Holmes has their cool story. Three, two, one. Forging new connections in the fires of competition. Uh -oh. Two robots here. The robotics teams from Catlin Gable Private School and Liberty High School <laughs> started their journey to the world stage early this year. In January, both teams were given a set of tasks that needed to be completed by a robot designed and built by them. This year, the game piece is a, called a note, it's this like 14 inch diameter ring. So we had to shoot them up into like a two foot tall slot on the wall. We had to place them into a really shallow slot lower down on the wall. And we had to pull ourselves up onto a chain and like put the note into a slot well up on that chain. In a matter of months, each team had a fully functioning robot that could pick up, place, and shoot those foam rings and even do a pull up. Prior to entering robotics, I had no idea about any of this, and I've learned so much since I've entered the program. So I really love the opportunity that it provides for everyone. Robotics as a whole is a really awesome way uh, to get into how, how things are actually done in industry. It's kind of hard in some high school classes that say, oh, we'll, we'll teach you about how the real world works, but then you just watch videos. Their efforts landed both teams in district competition, which is an impressive feat on its own. But for Liberty High's team Aimbot, a few unfortunate issues led their bot to a lackluster performance. Going into district championships, we were a little nervous. Um, we had some mixed results at our previous events. That's when the folks at the Flaming Chickens, Catlin Gable's team, took a chance on their fellow Oregonians. The team from Washington chose us, and then we had a bunch of data, and they wanted to choose another team from Washington. And we were like, oh, that doesn't really seem like the best choice, because our data said the team from Oregon, from Liberty, was like a lot better, and they would have been you know, a better choice on our alliance. And that gave Liberty another chance to shine. And shine they did, earning enough points to get to the world championship. We ranked, we ranked all right, but then we had some wonderful alliance partners, and we were able to perform really well in the finals. There was hardly any downtime for the teams, though, who had mere days to fix their robot before shipping it off to Houston for the championship. While they might not have brought home the world title, both teams still got plenty out of the experience. See, I think my favorite part of Worlds was getting to see all the other teams and in person being able to talk to the people who made their robots. And it was just incredible to see how many people are interested in STEM and interested in engineering and it's amazing to be able to talk to so many people. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to go as a student. In Hillsborough, Reese Holmes, KGW.